Alright, so today I'm going to give you an example on how to make use of Scratch for creating simple stories or scenes. So let me just choose first a Scratch sprite. Let's have a penguin. Okay, I like to use the penguin. Scroll down or you can use the animals. So I'll just use the penguin here and then let me delete this sprite and add another one. We'll have another animal duck. So I want to use duck. I just want to demonstrate here that when you go to this sprite duck, you go to its costume. If you wanted to talk and face penguin, you can simply choose the duck and flip horizontal. So then duck is now facing penguin. We can also look at penguin. And let's use this uh, side of penguin that we can then interact with duck. Now let's begin coding. Let's go first to the penguin one. We can go to the events again when clicked. Then we can have a conversation first. Penguin can say hello for two seconds. Then we can have duck. Because we want a conversation, we want duck to wait first. So events. When click and then go to control, duck needs to wait for two seconds before duck will say for example, hello. How are you? So let's play this. Let's make it bigger. So you can see here, hello, then hello, how are you? We can just ask Penguin to say hi. Now after Penguin, hello, how are you? Then Penguin can say, for two seconds, then it has to wait. So I'll wait for two seconds while Doc is still talking. Then I say, I am fine. Thank you. Then Doc, uh, Penguin can continue saying, Here, how about you? So this time, Penguin was talking for four seconds. So two seconds here, another two seconds. So Duck would now have to wait for four seconds. So let's put here four seconds. And then that's the time Duck can say something in return. So, how about you? Duck would say, I am fine too. Then, let us go somewhere. So, this time, Penguin needs to wait for four seconds. So, four seconds, then Penguin can have the next say, sure, let us go, or let's go. Let's try, make it bigger than hi hello how are you i am fine thank you how about you i am fine too then let's go somewhere sure let's go okay then we can then move to another scene so this time let's just add a backdrop let's say at first they're talking to each other 
the beach in Malibu. Then after sure let's go, we can then transition and switch the backdrop to another backdrop. So let's add the backdrop ahead. So backdrops. Let's add the backdrop here. We can add this bench. So they can sit down on this bench. So we go to penguin one. Now we have to make sure that at first the costume should be the costume for a backdrop will be beach Malibu. We can delete this. Then we can have the bench with view after. So from the start, we would say that the backdrop would be Beach Malibu. And then after, sure, we can go to Beach with View. Now, when they're in the Beach with View, we want them to also move to a position for example from this place to this area so we can use the glide so at first now before we make it move we have to make sure that we have placed the position of penguin so go to this is the original position and then for duck same thing go to so that's the original position so after they switch backdrop to bench with view penguin will now glide to this area so we can have glide for one second going to this area now there is what we call as when we put a command to duck we can put the event a triggering event so in this case when the backdrop switches to bench with view we can say that the duck will glide here. So the event is triggered by the change of the backdrop. So here, the motion, it glides to this position. So let's play this. You have the conversation. Then you have the high about you. Then let's go somewhere. Sure, let's go. Then they have the change of scene. Then they can continue their conversation. So that's how to uh, trigger some events and change through the change of backdrop.